We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Now, I thought I knew everything about Baltimore, east, west, <laughs> but there's something I just did not know. And then you rumbled across me, baby. Uh, all Your girl, Miss Carter Sewell, right here, the owner of Urban Reese Bookstore. Talk we smack are at too. our first Authors Expo right here, 3008 Greenmount Avenue is going down right here in the hood on purpose. <laughs> Urban Reads Bookstore. I'm so glad to meet you. We are so proud of you. I appreciate it. And what, thank you for coming out. What's, what's the address again? 3008 Greenmount Avenue. It's the hub for the black authors. We want your baby to come inside and correlate themselves with what they look like. Okay, what's your t-shirt say? I can't read it that fast. Oh, heaven's my the best. Line. Oh, oh my. We are the, the, we are the voice of the voiceless. State versus us magazine. And that's what these are right here. Ho, ho, ho. You got a magazine? To, you ain't tell me about the magazine. <laughs> this that bull. Okay, okay. This, I'm a... talking about prison reform. I'm talking about wrongful convictions, success stories of former incarcerated individuals such as myself. And it's all packaged up with the prison in mind. There's stories in here for men and women that's telling their stories and controlling their narratives. As far as I know today, Three men have came home off the interviews I've done on them while they were in prison. And I'm also archived in the Schromberg Center for Black Research at Harlem New York. Did you know that America has 5% of the world's population but 25% of the world's inmates? It's 13.4% it's, it's Black America, but 34% Black America is locked up. We got a problem. That's we gotta something this fundamentally shit. wrong with those and numbers. 60 of incarcerated individuals are illiterate. Let's challenge that. Let's go. And did you know that black women are the fastest growing demographic? And did you know that 80% of black women locked up right now suffer some type of trauma? I can go stat for stat with you, baby. Ball for ball. Let's go. Well, a lot of the <laughs> men have experienced some trauma too. Yeah, but we talking about women. The jail wasn't built for them. And it was built for me? It, it was built for with you in mind. <laughs> it was built for the trauma black man Trauma is across mind. the board, though, isn't it? Listen, trauma, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that prison wasn't built for women. And what has become now is that they are locking more of our women up than ever before. And it's not built for them. I ain't gonna sit up here and say it was built for me because I wasn't built for prison. Well, it, <laughs> I'm it a was, king. It definitely, listen, I ain't built for prison. I'm, I'm telling you I what got, the government no, had not. in mind. And I, it was I, for, I it you. Was for you. I'm clear. <laughs> and that's their new slavery way. I'm clear. That's their next slavery way. I'm clear. They just making more money off of it and everything. Everything comes with a dollar. And for everybody that's in jail, in prison, they getting money. So, Urban Reed's bookstore, I heard you had some celebrities over here. Yeah, you got Reza Islam, Freeway Rick Ross, The Real Rick Ross. You got Saigon, the hip-hop artist from Brooklyn, New York. You got Cavallo, who created Dawn Diva magazine. He's over there. Dwayne Mooney, which is one of the twin sons of Paul Mooney. He's over there. It's a whole bunch of, come down. We here, we lit. And you set up shop on Greenmount Avenue? Greenmount, in the hood, on purpose. It's intentional. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Hey, Brooklyn, BK, welcome to Baltimore.